Speaking of plague and diseases, I watched a documentary about rats called Rats, and it was disgusting. I don't recommend it if you have a weak stomach. But back to um, this, we're going to start with Plug and Plague, which is a feature that uh, probably never should have returned. But here it is. Um, man, do I have something weird and terrible. And and actually, I may have a bonus Plug and Plague, like directly after. In fact, there is something I forgot to do. I knew it. I forgot to get batteries. I'll do that later. Okay. The cool baby needs no batteries and it needs no inter uh, it needs no introduction. That's the word. It needs no interaction. It really doesn't need any interaction. I probably should not play this, but the weird thing is two separate people tried to send me this thing called the cool baby. And uh, I got it from uh, lemons someone named lemons um thank you for this but uh the other person star navigator wanted to send it to me and instead made a list of some of the games i should check out so what is the cool baby what what is the cool baby what what isn't it is the better question as we begin our adventure into chinese plug and plague trash it's um it's familiar is what it is. It's very familiar. It's probably very legally, let's say, sh uh, shake shady, shady is the right word. Probably. Um, actually, I just got this image. This just came in. This just in. Here's what the NES Classic looks like compared to the Cool Baby. And yeah, I think it's a newer plug and play. And I'll be honest with you, it actually looks pretty good. Like, I'm kind of shocked for a piece of shit. So, um, that's that. There's like, oh, I don't know, there's like 500 games on this thing. There's some real ports on it, and there's some other uh, trash. But you can see the four face buttons. Now, we're going to begin this, I think, now. And uh, I also have the manual, which is uh, amazing. Let's see. Yeah, it's about 500 games. We're actually not going to do all 500. Now, the crazy thing is this might actually be good. This might be one of the better plug and plays. So, <laughs> um, Mario, here's the, the classics of video game history. Mario, Contra, Hot Blood, of course, and, um, Turtle, you know, and Adventure. And base from Mega Man represents 554 and 1. But I like that it's just Turtle. One Turtle. Um, so this is a weird thing for a system like this that has, like, categories. So I guess we kind of have to start with Mario, right? Um, I'm just gonna do a quick check. I think I know what this is. Yep, it's just a bootleg Super Mario Bros. 3 with... I think just the color output is fucked, really. Um, you'll see here... I'm upscaling this to 720p, that's how I can stream this. But, it still looks like utter garbage. I don't know if that's the cool baby. I'm pretty sure that's the cool baby. Okay, so, interesting, uh, interesting thing here. You know how there's four buttons? The one on top of A is turbo. So it's got a built-in turbo command. Watch. So that's kind of cool. Um, my eyes are bleeding. But otherwise, it's more or less Mario 3, and it's more or less intact. The controller is somewhat respectable facsimile of the NES controller. Um, the D-pad is not as good. It's a little, like, stiff, um, but the buttons feel pretty close, uh, and it's somewhat responsive. I think it's a- there's a little bit of delay. There's, like, a little bit of lag, but otherwise, 
I will say that this is surprisingly quality. And if you lived in China and you got a cool baby instead of an NES classic, maybe that's not the worst day you've ever had. I mean, your eyes... Your eyes are gonna have a bad time. Because this shit is deep fried as fuck. Alright, so... You know... As expected... That was Mario 3. So now we have to wonder what are some of these other ones. You got Mario 10, 14, 6... 16, sorry, 16, and then 6, <laughs> and then 9... On top of each other. Mario's Missing, Mario's Time Machine, Dr. Mario, Mario Bros, Yoshi's Hash Cookie. So there's definitely some ROM hacks. Kamikaze Mario... Mario Runner, Small Mario. Alright. Kung Fu Mario, okay, so I've done this before. Yep. I believe this is a Jackie Chan game, but with Mario's face. So I've stripped. Listen, I've done a ton of terrible ROM hacks. This is par for the course. Some of you will be surprised. Some of you are seeing this for the first time. But this has been on the vine sauce for many, many years, sadly. It is pretty, it is pretty amazing. It's a sight to behold. Alright, so... Mario 14 and 16, I'm pretty sure I know what these are too. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna skip that. We've done this. Um, so, you know, the usuals, th these are the usual suspects. I'm, I'm interested in some of the ones like Tiny Mario or Small Mario, that's, that's what I'm interested in. And there's some other, like, game names on here that are just bizarre. Mario 16. Okay, yeah, this is Adventure Island with a Mario reskin. Again, this has been a part of the Vine Sauce mythos for many years now, so I'm not gonna actually... I'm not gonna actually do that. Uh, Mario 6 and 9. You know, Mario 7 is missing. That, of course, is the famous. Okay, so Tiny Toon Mario... Great, okay. Nice. Alright, uh, Mario 9. Let's just jump into Small Mario. Oh no, I think I know what this is. Yep, this is- this is- this is porn. Guys, I- I have- I got my finger on the reset button. This turns into po porn. This turns into porn. Oh, that- that hurts. That hurts. There's gonna be Robertsons on the screen. Just, just, we're gonna... We're, we're just gonna let this hurt our ears like our eyes have been hurt. No whammy, no whammy. STOP! I shouldn't be doing that, my throat still hurts. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop it there. We, we... It could take some effort to get into the... The porns. Um, let's see. What's Kamikaze? That's... Not... What I think it is, right? That's not... It's just crusty pixels. It's just, like, deep-fried, burnt pixels. It's... Yes, it is. Next. Speaking of porn. That's just his lower antenna for detecting items on the ground. And hard for all. Wow, could you imagine getting this for your son in China? 
and they're like seven. Like I got that new NES system, and then it's just naked Mario Brother. Whoops. Well, I, I guess we're in Chinese now. Luigi? Ghost House Story? Kamikaze Volume 3? Um... Anyway, <laughs> you know... No, nothing, nothing weird here. No, it's fine. It's fine. Everything here is fine. Man, I didn't know Nintendo was making Mario and Luigi games for the NES as far as tw uh, 2001. That's really impressive. Um... That was interesting. Yep. So this I've played on stream too. Except here it is in its crustiest form ever. It's just dude weed Mario. And, uh, you know, we don't need to see more of that. You saw the whole thing. Angry Mariano. Angry... <laughs> Angry Mariano. Let's see, what's this? Okay, well, he's clothed. It's, it's Kaizo, isn't it? Yeah. A. Yeah, it's just like almost Kaizo. It's just really hard, really hard Mario. Unlike the hard Mario from before, which is this is a different kind of hard. It's difficult Mario. Okay, I I kind of take back what I said about the button being responsive. It's it's. There are a couple times I pressed it, and it didn't happen. Man, if, if I could just beat one level of this, I'd feel like a true gamer. Wow, I'm actually... I'm actually kind of doing it. What the fuck? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Can't remind. Can't rewind. Can't wake up. <clears throat> Let's see. Mario in space. Uh, well, I'm gonna do excite Mario Bros. So this is a Kirby. It's excite bike with Mario. It's just cameos. Look at- look, you can't even read the words. Like, you can barely make out that there's words up there. So... Even though I was able to... Almost get to the end of Angry Mariano... Excite Mario has totally destroyed me. Bitch. Those Pikachus? Those is Pikachus. Yeah, this is like Nintendo Cameo Mario, but you know, unlicensed. And the color scheme is atrocious. It's so fucking bright. It's so bright. So it's like something for the Commodore 64.
But again, compared to some of the plug and plays I've dredged through... It's not really the right word for that, is it? Well, compared to some of them that I slogged through, let's use that one. It's not that bad. I mean, you can play this. Like, there is... Some... You know... Fluidity to the controls, like, it's not... The controller is, is actually kind of sturdy and decently made. There's a little delay. Sometimes I hit the button, it doesn't work right away. But other than that, it's pretty good. I guess if I got this, I wouldn't be too upset, aside from having to see Luigi's dong. Oh, bouncy shrooms. But, you know, could you imagine getting this in, like, 1991? With all these games on it? It'd be amazing. Mario in space. It's Galaga Mario. I mean, it's... It's nice. <laughs> it's fine. It's, yeah. This is turning out to not be the worst plug-and-play. Is it possible the trend has been broken and we found a somewhat decent... plug-and-play? How could this be? Circus Mario. Oh, it's this stupid circus game that I've played in other capacities. Yeah, it's this, but it's just Mario version. <laughs> That's a big Cooper. That's a big-ass Cooper. My stand- uh, you know what it is? Yeah, my standards are just really, really low. Again, these colors. You could, like, green screen this. You can- you can actually chroma key this. And put, like, an interesting image behind it. You know what I mean? You could put, like, an interesting image behind it. Damn it. Jinxed. Well, it hurts my eyes less now. <laughs> Whether or not your personal feelings of meat are positive or negative, you cannot deny that meat has saved our eyes temporarily. So that's Circus Mario. Not as good as Ang Angry Mariano. Um, so Small Mario. Mario Runner? So this is the, the prequel to Mario Run on mar on mo mobile phones. Okay, yeah. I've also, it, this is Load Runner, isn't it? Hey, have you guys ever seen the movie? Lo oh, can't jump. That's a half shot. It's only a half shot. Alright, so now, while this is happening... Allow me to show you the instruction booklet. Let me read to you the instruction booklet. So I took a picture of it because I have a feeling some people just wouldn't have believed me. Um, so, let me read... ...what it says here. Some of it's good. It has built in 400 classic FC games in total, which cannot be changed. It uses 5V charger for power supply and available voltage is 110 volts, uh, squiggle 220 volts, so the ordinary household power source can't afford that. Yeah, I'm glad I can afford that. Uh, never allow children to play it alone, for it comes to the power using. Never allow children to play it alone, for it comes to the power using. Okay. Please turn off the machine and operate it 
after cooling it when there is something wrong and the machine running, running machine like system halted. With the running machine like system halted. Um. Right? Uh, never put the machine stay at some places extremely cold and hot. Never disassemble or repair the machine by your by yourself. By yourself. It may be unavailable for some TV with 4K resolution ratio. Okay, I get that. Never allow children below three years old using it alone. Not alone. Never play the Transformer casually, for it's not a toy. Okay, that one... I'm gonna need some explanation about, because I don't know what that means. Never play the Transformer ca casually, for it is not a toy. Play it hardcore, motherfucker, or go home. Play it like a pro. What is the Transformer? You mean like the electricity? The power node? Um, this machine is available, typo, for those recommended Transformers conforming to international standard. I kinda get that. Please dis disconnect the machine when the power source... Please disconnect the machine with the power source when cleaning the machine. Why do you need to clean the machine? What the fuck? It's a clean machine! Please check the lines, plug, shell, and other parts regularly, and stop using if there's anything wrong with them until being repaired. Never play it with other power sources. Not recommended! So, I mean, you can kind of understand what, you know, what it's trying to say. It just does so in the best possible way. Which is, you know, broken English. So that's the Mario. Uh, this is the Contra. Big, strong butt men. And, um, wow, there's a lot of... There's a lot of Contras here. Contra 24 and 1. There's a 24 and 1 in a game with 545 in 1. This is the next level. Oh, I think I know what this is. These are just cheats. It's Contra 1 with cheats. I get it. I get it. Jungle. I've, I've done this before on other things. So this is Contra, but you start with a machine gun. It's Contra. I mean, it's all Contra. Every one of those Contras is going to be Contra. Um, it's just they start... with you with different weapons. Let's just test that theory, like, Contra... 6S. This is gonna be stage 6, I believe? Let's see... Yeah. Stage 6, spread shot. I wonder if they count this towards the 500 games. 500 and something games. But yeah, that's pretty expected. Ah, oh, fuck. Let's see, there's still some other Contras in here. There's, like, Isolated Warrior. I don't know if that's a real... NES game, it might be. <laughs> Alright. What does this have to do with Contra? Did the people who put this together just think that all games with shoot is Contra? Like, the word Contra just means shoot game. Vap Inc. Vappy please cut. Now that's a good Contra. Let me get one of my cough drops, so I am still... Uh, I'm feeling a lot better in terms of my head, but my throat still feels like... Like I gargled fucking rocks. Like I sang a concert for ACDC. So... Shatterhand.
Yeah, I think these are real NES games. They're just, um... They're just labeled weirdly. Like, they're categorized as Contras. Otherwise... Yeah. I mean, I've never played this. Wow. That is some good fight. Again, I would like to point out that this is not how these games should normally look. The colors should not be this bright. They should be even brighter. There you go, now you can see every pixels. Here you go. Now this is, this is about normal. This is what it looked like, lads, back in the day when I was playing my NES. Everything looked like Hotline Miami colors. It was the 80s after all. I was like, I'm trying to, like, fix the... No, <laughs> it's not worth it. Let's find out what Hot Blood is. Um, Hot Blood Basketball High School Wrestle. I guess, I guess we're gonna do Wrestle. Oh, it's like River City Ransom characters? Are these... So the Contras are all, again, you know, actual games. Um, this has got to just be stuff that was never released in the U.S. I can't read, I can't read this. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the most menu-heavy game. So, in wrestling, you can kick people in the cock, right? That's part of it, and you can- you can kick them in the head. You can also- yeah, you can do that in wrestling, that's- that's legal. I don't think it's about pinning the opponent, you can just punch them in the face and, like, kick them in the fucking groin. Yeah, groin shots are legal in wrestling. Alright, so Hot Blood seems to be just sports. Um, let, let's just make sure it's all sports of the same kind. Yeah, it's the same type of thing. Same, like, visual style. This is probably, a, like, a series that's, that was big that I didn't actually know about. With the River City style. Uh, what's new record, though, I wonder? Is this a sport? Oh my god. Drug. This is new record? What, do I have to just buy a new record? Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you tell which one I am? <laughs> How do you play this? Turtle. Turtles 1, 2, and 3, and, and Turtle Fighter. Now, th these are just the legit games, yes? Oh 
Mike. Just, yeah, just, we're using our, our short names today. This is a bad port, okay. Well, I have a turbo controller, so I can just... I can have this turtle smell my turtle foot. I know we don't think about this often because, you know, they're cartoon characters, but think about how fucking bad the Ninja Turtles must smell. Okay, they live in a sewer, and their flesh is all, like, like pickly and green. Like, I just think, like, it's absorbent the same way pickles ab are absorbent. They must smell goddamn terrible. And you know those motherfuckers don't shower. Adventure Island. What's there to say? It's Adventure Island. Alright, now we're gonna get into the good stuff. You know, the, the five pillars of gaming. Turtle, Mario, Adventure, Splort, and Big Men Shoot Gun fight, fight Fuck. Alright. Let's finally dig in to the 554 and 1, which I'm a little worried about because um, we already saw a donger. Uh, let's see. So we got Rockmen. A couple Rockmen. Um, these games look pretty legit. Mortal Kombat 4 on the NES. Oh, I think I've played this, yeah. Yeah, it's just the same dudes, like here. This dude... That's Sub-Zero. That's Green Zero. Then, then you have Orange Zero. Then you have Purple Zero. If I said 554 instead of 545, I apologize. Sometimes mistakes... ...happen. Oh, this is Striker. Isn't that quality music? <laughs> Just because you could port Mortal Kombat over to the NES unofficially doesn't mean you should. Street Fighters 20... I gotta see what Street Fighter 2010 is. God. What? This is so far above the street. Oh, well, I can't read that. AVGN did a video on this? Really? Probably saw it and it left my memory completely. This is an actual game. Was it really called Street Fighter though? Was it called Street Fighter 2010 is the question. Really? Oh my god. In America. Okay, again, these colors are just not I'm sorry, they're not bright enough. We we need to get it real good. We need to get a good like. Now we got some color. This is like 2010 future graphics. In alternate dimensions you can see new colors. This is as close as you can get on Earth in the third dimension. You need to travel over to a different density of consciousness if you want to see colors. There's- there's a lot of hidden color information encoded in here, trust me. But, uh, yeah, apparently... AVGN did an episode on this, which... I'm now going to watch. But that was, um... Unremarkable and not Street Fighter. So Angry Bird is on this. A 
I think this is this is Somari. Oh no, I played this. Yeah, it's just an ass assortment of ROM hacks. I think there's probably a couple with some interesting names. But yeah. I swear my filter is not on. This is just what the game looks like. It is this bright and awful looking. What are you eating? Uh, it's a cough drop. Let's go backwards. Um... Wizzy... Wow, there's really... 545 games. There's te Teletubbies, huh? Alright, you know I can't pass that up. It's Mario Brothers with Teletubby skins. Yup! What a lazy ass hack this is. Fuck off. You fuck. <laughs> you can't just call a game Teletubby and then replace one character with a Teletubby. Hey! Oh no, Vinny's sick! This hurts his voice! Don't expect him to do it too long, okay? Yep, got a lot of phlegm. There's a lot of phlegm in Vinny's throat at the moment, huh? Yep. No, it's, uh, it's not Flagum, it's Tubby Crusted. Yep. That's all it is. Oh. Hang on, I can't show you a Teletubby game without showing you this cursed image. Okay, so yeah, I feel like some of the more interesting games are going to be back here. Stub game, strafe, surface fire. I'm going to just choose the most interesting game names. Slackman? <laughs> Wait a minute. The fuck is this? Like, slack on a rope? So, okay. Almost no attempt was made to hide the fact that this is Pac-Man, but... Is, this is just reverse Pac-Man, which essentially functions in the same exact way. Th this is not worth a ROM hack. I guess you could say they really slacked when making this. Yeah, that was- that wasn't very- that wasn't very tactful of me, was it? And it was lazy grammar. I don't know if this is legit or what, but... It's just Pac-Man again! <laughs> they did not attack me, I just died. I feel like that music was a transmission from, like, a radio station in Siberia somewhere. Resistant... Raiden... Raiden Bungling Bay? Okay. Raid... Oh, Raid on Bungling Bay. Goblin? Yeah, that sounds good. I wonder if that's like Paperboy, but reverse. Like, you steal people's mail. You steal people's paper. Oh, this is quite garbage. I don't know if this is a real game either. I mean, I've played games similar to this. Bungling Bay. 
What, what a fucking unfortunate name that is. Still, this is not the worst of the plug and plagues. It's got decent NES games on it. That wasn't one of them. Let's see, someone saw a rural goblin? Um... Yeah... Is... This? Isn't this from, like, some of the other plug and plagues? It's just whack-a-mole, isn't it? What is it? What the fuck? Good game. This- this whole stream has been a rerun. Let's see... Puyan, Popeye, Pyramid... Ninja Coot. Nuts Milk. <laughs> Wait a minute. No. Nuts Milk. I don't... I don't think I'm gonna... There's a, there's a penis. This is a real game? Oh, nuts and milk. Oh, thank God. Okay. So, I guess I'm the titular nuts? You can tell. You can tell. Look at the way he's bouncing around. This is still a lot less terrible than I thought it would be. Um, yeah, the real problem is there's a bad precedent established early on with Kamikaze Mario, so now I'm, like, kind of worried that anything could be a dick. Is there, a, like, a fear? Like, penile phobia? Is there, like, a name? Optimus Minor? Is this like Baby Optimus Prime? Like, op Transformers Transmetals 2, starring Optimus Minor. <laughs> oh, it's Donkey Kong Jr. I can't even really tell what I'm looking at. Like, I don't know what these things represent. I can see the Optimus Prime up there, but... Everything else just looks like a booger. Optimus Beb. Phallophobia is the, the real name of it, by the way. Also known as Rescue Cuck. Let's not- uh, let us not forget Rescue Cuck. This is that. Alright. So, I can see what we have here. I see... Just scattered amongst the entire NES library is a bunch of, like, crap... ...that were found on the internet. Like, Small Dinosaur, for example. Um, I'm sure there's gonna be other interesting titles. Oh, it's this. This was in another plug-and-play, too. Yeah, look at it! <laughs> the dinosaur goes mental! So yeah, it's just a bunch of real NES games and a bunch of fake ones. Let's see. The music is really good if you want to torture one of your friends. Ninja-kun. Ow. Ow. Ow, that hurt. Oh god, this hurts even worse. I'm almost positive I played this too. Needles music. The sound of needles stabbing into your ears. Oh, 
I wonder how effectively this would green screen. Pretty fucking effectively. It's like the whole game is a green screen. Okay, we're gonna go for the best names first. Best names, and then I'll take a look at other random stuff. So, Nuts Milk was obvious. Uh, Nibbles? Okay, good. Oh, that said nipples. Um, making Love. Uh, again, I'm a little worried about this one. One lover, two lovers, I love you. Making love. Um... Stage one. What is stage one in making love? Is it just, like, light, light petting? Stage two is the kissing. Stage three is you get to feel the Robertsons. Is that, that's what this is, right? Oh, it's a, it's a tank game. Game over. You made war, not love. Excuse me, why the fuck is it called Make Love? Is it because of what I just said? That's the opposite. Uh, Link? Just Link? Alright. Oh. Oh, this is so disappointed. Disappointing. It, it might be disappointed in me, too, though. I guess deal. Oh, I see. Okay, it's- it's some Zelda stuff. Is this Zelda Solitaire? Or... Spider Solitaire, or one of those... Free Cell. This is another easy green screen. Fun forever with the cool baby. I know there's an official logo, I think, that would go really, really well for the cool baby entertainment game console. Hear me out. Hear me out. They'd have to license it, but it might be worth it. Like, just replace here. I'll show you. They gotta jump on this, man. This is an opportunity. Ringo's like, No! I will not have my legitimate artwork on an illegitimate game console. So, okay, where were we? Link? Joust, Levin, Action, IQ, Champion. Not me. Uh, Hit Mouse, I've played that. Gloomy ch Glommy Chess. Goblet Tower, Golf. Um, Fruit Dish. Donkey Kong Jr. Math. Dora Bros. What's Dora Bros? Like Dora the Explorer? Yep. No, wait, no, what is this? This isn't Dora the Explorer. Who's this? Doraemon. Oh. Alright then. Yeah, I'm not really finding a whole lot in here that's jerking my gherkin. 
Not like last week when I had to feed the gherkin to the meat. Devil World, I've played a version of that. Uh, Donkey Kong, Donald Magic, Devil World again, yes. Sick Cat, 18. Um, Check and Pop. Bird Week. Um... What was- someone saw a game called Door Door? How did I miss that? 420, Door Door. Okay, I have to do this one. Door Door. We've done ass art on a previous stream. Wait, was I actually playing the game? I thought that was a cutscene. <laughs> oh no. Games are best played in three frames. These are super early Famicom games. Oh man. I couldn't go in the door, I tried. It was- it was broken. Doors are broken. Let's go back this way. Astro Fang Super Mach. Asmic Kun Land. Bad Dudes, Eight Eyes, Batman. Captain America. Bucky and Captain America, <laughs> back to back. It's fate. 1992 game. Set. Oh fuck! Is that him? Is that Thanos? Did Did he just have a tomato on his ring? It's the Infinity Rings. Oh fuck! Iron Man and. I'm sorry, guys. I'm spo I'm spoiling Infinity War. Charleston is being attacked, like South Carolina. Roger Wasp. Little would they believe that 17 years later, all these characters would be in movies. The biggest movies of all time. Now, this is actually a game. That's cool. Thanks, Wasp. I would have played this as a kid. It's not terrible. It's also 1992, so it's a little different than, say, um, Door Door. How does one exit? What am I even, like, getting out of these things? Fives? Captain America's one weakness, water. Actually, no! Captain America can brave water. Alright, well, Infinity War spoiled. Oh no, what have I done? So this is turning out to be a lot of... just real stuff. Which makes this... not terrible. And... You know, what can I say? Speaking of Home Alone, we're going to be playing a Home Alone PS2 game in a little bit. Let's see. Um, let's check out Legacy of the Wizard. So you get to choose a character. Is this like Gauntlet? No, it's like, it's 2D.
It's another legit NES game. Yeah, I, I'm gonna just look for titles that are not... Like, Nuts Milk. I need Nuts Milk. No one's ever gonna take that out of context. New Zealand story? Is this legit? Taito. Yeah, this is legit. Oddly enough, even Nuts Milk turned out to be a real game. Hey guys, come on down to New Zealand. We've got slugs and snails. It's actually <laughs> really cute. Peace off, ghost. Yeah, there's there's green screen opportunities all around. Another pretty decent game. I thought New Zealand story wasn't real. Like I actually thought New Zealand wasn't real until Lord of the Rings came out. Sorry guys. Now I like it. You know, now it's great, but I just didn't know. Mission Impossible. Uh New Zealand Parodius is on this, okay. Secret Ties, Silkworm, Rolling Thunder, Powerline. You're only young, but you're gonna die. Chuda D. The Ren Stimpy Show. Told us Contra. T -t 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 Tom Jerry. Wayne's World. I believe I've played a version of Wayne's World. Worm. Am I already almost dead? Oh, I get it. I'm, I'm a spaceship? Oh, I see. I think... I think I see... I'm just confused, really. Oh man. NES games. Ren Stimpy show again. So here's Worm X-Men 2 Zombie Nation. Um, Family Stadium 87, that's probably 87 games in one. Rescue Cuck is here! Uh, Clax. Top Golf. Animal Contest. Uh, I've played a lot of these and I know a lot more of these actually exist. I haven't seen any Zelda stuff aside from Link. You would think they would promote the Zelda stuff. Duck. Alright. Fine. Oh, it's this one. Someone saw breaststroke? I always, always click on duck, whatever it may be. Yeah, the only standout, really, was Nude Mario. Uh, breaststroke it is. Blob Muncher? <laughs> that sounds... Something about that doesn't sound right. Breaststroke. Two of the same person. Good thing I have that turbo button. You get to swim against your clone. 
And I mean, finally, thank God, it's a true test of strength. Am I dead? My dude's just dead. And I... Oh. I, I think he drowned. Whoops. <laughs> He's alive! It's a miracle! <laughs> Uh, Blob Buster is probably something like, um, Bubble Bobble. And I would imagine... I mean, that FIFA 2005 game probably isn't all that interesting either. I don't know how much more interesting shit we're gonna find. Duck. Flappy. That's just Flappy Bird. Fruit Gift. Some really good names. Galg. Instead of Galaga, just Galg. Greeds. Good... Good head? Oh, good hand. Wait a minute, did someone see a game called Alice Cooper? And I missed that? <laughs> Wait a minute, Alice Cooper? The Rockstar Alice Cooper? Yup, it's the Rockstar Alice Cooper. It's Mario Brothers Alice Cooper. There's a very... ...clear missed opportunity... ...for an 8-bit Alice Cooper song. I'm sorry, but what are the Goombas? Yeah, the music is all off. Like, this is just... ...the way it's running. Nothing killed me. Nothing kill- oh, time up! There's a game called Bean Kids. All right. Wait a minute. But I still had plenty of time. I just got like fucking mega trolled because the I had at least 200 seconds still. Well, Mario seconds. Not worth it. I, were those fangirls that Alice Cooper was stepping on and killing? Also, this menu system is awful. Not that I needed to say that, but... Binary land... Bean Kids, there it is, Bean Kids. <laughs> I think I've seen this before. Yeah, we've seen this. We've seen Bean Kids. It was just a bean baby. Not to be confused with beanie babies. Like, I kind of hate this now. For a little while, it was all well and good. We had our japes and laughs, but now it's just... boring. Tower of Drauga... Twin B, I know what that is. Trump Tank? You are mock right. Wait a minute. What the fuck is this? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. This is mock rider. <laughs> so they just Hang on a minute. So they just reskinned They just reskinned a motorcycle into a tank and thought that was fucking okay. 
Well, it's not fucking okay. Cool invisible enemies, too. No idea what this has to do with the word Trump in any of its forms. Rear view mirror? Yeah, I was looking in the mirror, I saw that, but, like, that's... That wasn't fun. No, I've never played Mock Rider. Not the original. Toad in the hole. Uh, Tutu. Throw man. If only I could just go back easily. Oh, it's this fucking thing. This shows up on all the plug and plays. Kill the bean man. I have... Ass art has been played multiple times in other plug and play programs. I think maybe it's time to retire plug and plug. Because... I don't know, these are pretty... Pretty samey. I did Making Love, for anyone who just arrived. Tutu. Okay, I've played this too. Oh, wait, no, I haven't. The fuck kind of game is this? The sheer force of baseball... ...allows you to fly. Huh. Now I want to see this happen in the Major Leagues. Like, I want to see a pitcher just, like, fly backwards after a pitch into fucking space. What a weird concept. Uh, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on this one. There's new people that are joining that are like, play Nuts Milk. It's not what you think it is. Spelunker, spy, Spied, Skoon, and Squee. Oh yeah. This just has the added bonus, like, these are, like, the same games with the added bonus of hurting your eyes. And then it takes... a year to get through the menus. Oh, no. That's terrible. Super Chinese? Let, let's see what Super Chinese is. Namcot. <laughs> Excuse me, but I've never heard of Namcot. Here, have some, uh, fake rock and roll. Nothing is more super Chinese than that. Namco used Namcot? A re like... Really? Namcot was the original Namco? Oh my god. These sounds... Remember... Throw your entire body into your punch. That's how you do it. And then throw your entire body into the fucking river and drown yourself, and never come back to this game.
534, okay. Was there a pocket monster on this? No, there's no pocket monster. I see Pu Puyan. Let's see, what's 534? Toy Story. This is... Bomberman. Am I Woody? I think I'm Woody. I can't tell. Again, it just looks like boogers. It just looks like food dye boogers. Okay, uh, so of course the Angry Bird are here. Yeah, Pocket Monster. I definitely have played Pocket Monster. Yep. Oh, it's a green Pikachu. Velbt. I don't think Pikachu... Pik <laughs> this isn't Pikachu. This is Pika False. Yeah, I, I think I've... Oh, I think I've played this before. Um, but Pikachu wasn't green. But I also think that the game is not intentionally making Pikachu green. I can't- I can't remember if I've played this shit before. I really... I've played so much trash from these plug-and-plays... ...that I- I don't know if this is a repeat. This might not be. Ow. So that jumping. How about that jumping? Can I green screen the Pika False? I think I can, yeah. Let's see. Chroma key. Yep. Um what should I throw back oh. Is this good? Actually, the graphics are now better. O overall, I would say it's been an improvement. Wow, that, that is a hell of an attack. Jesus fucking Christ, Pikachu just... ...like, has a full-screen attack. This would be the special attack in any other game. Like, you'd, you'd have to save the... Oh wait, they weren't infinite. Shit, never mind. <laughs> never mind, you don't have an attack, you only have a couple of those. Which is the same button as run, by the way. So if you want to run, you first have to use your... ...full screen clearing attack. Oh, cool. Cool cloud. So I just access another level by accident? Wait a minute. Hang on a minute, this is a totally different level. Someone said you can press pause to fly. How the fuck did you know that? Why does anyone know anything about this game? I'm- I'm alerting the authorities. You're not wrong though, I mean, yeah, you can pause the game and no clip. And yes, there are actual, like, cannon shots, like bullets, like bullet bills, but without the faces. Shooting Pikachu. Like, there is artillery, like World War II style artillery, attempting to fucking murder Pikachu. I don't remember that episode of the Pokemon cartoon show.
Wow. McKids? Oh, I've streamed McKids before. Not terrible. It's, it's McDonald Kids. Basically. Was that Pluto? Filler episode when Pikachu and Ash visited. <laughs> yeah, you bet. Yeah, that one wasn't remembered. Still not banned, like the one with the epilepsy. Does this game- does this, like, cool baby family computer system not know how to properly process yellow? Everything's fucking green! Except the- the kid's hand. Which shouldn't be yell- the- Alright. Hang on a minute. I need to show you what this actually looks like. I want to show you how fucked up this really is, and I just found a screenshot. Oh wait. No, that's- that's the, uh, wrong version. This is the right version. That's close! It's actually pretty close. Yeah, every color is just more extreme. It's like the X Games. But yeah, yellow- yellow is not being processed properly. It's being tinted green. Yeah, it's- it's McKids, alright. The best thing I can say is that... The Cool Baby Chinese Family Computer Entertainment System... ...actually has some pretty decent games on it. There's a lot of trash ones, there's a naked Mario game. Sure. But... I mean... You could do a lot worse. Let's do four or five more games, and that's it. And then I'll, I'll move on to Plug and Plague Bonus. Which, if it sucks, then Plug and Plague will be retired until I get a good Plug and Play. Like a really, really good one. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, there's just... You know, I've done all the good ones. I've done sh the Shrek one, I've done the Star Wars one. Yeah, I've, done, I've done the one where a cowboy fights Osama Bin Laden. You know, these are, like, really difficult things to top. Sun Sun. Deflower. Oh, there's a game called Deflower on here. Probably a good idea to overload the NES with things that it can't handle. I approve of Sun Sun. Alright, I'm gonna take a look at Deflower. Someone said it was number... What, what number was Deflower? <laughs> Dead Fox. Yeah, I did the Teletubbies one already. Okay, that was in the... 400. Still... Still no Zelda. We got the, the Legend of Crescian. I guess this is a real game, too. Not Zelda. Good fucking game. Maybe this can't handle Zelda? Maybe the cool baby isn't powerful enough to handle Zelda? Notice Zelda's never included in these collections. Maybe it's because of the, um... the save system. Because there's, like, a battery-backed cartridge. Maybe they don't know how to, like... 
save the game, and so they just said, fuck it. Yes, RAM backup. Thank you, Joel, that's exactly it. Yeah. Let's see. So there's also, um... So that's, uh, that's that. This is Deflower, I think I'm gonna do next. And I'm just gonna do, like, a once-over, and make sure that we did everything with an interesting name. So here it is, Deflower. That character in the top left is how I feel right now. Like, that, I can't even tell you how much that describes my exact inner thoughts and feelings. Is this another fake load runner? I'm sure someone with a greater sense of, co of comedic um, writing, com comedy value, can write a better joke, but... Load runner, deflower. There's a connection, right? There you go. I'm sure someone could figure that out. And I'm in my hole now. It's good. Good jokes. Uh, Dead Fox? Alright, fine, yeah, let's check out Dead Fox real quick. Capcom, 1990. <laughs> Is that fucking Saddam Hussein? Wow. No shit. Holy fuck! The enemy has revolving rock-hidden doors. And, and like, cat jungle statue. Oh, wow. Wow, that dude is, like, really well-trained. Evil masterminds. With, like, hidden panels that made out of rock. That's really impressive. I hereby dub this game Contra. Now, why wasn't that in the Contra section? That wasn't a Contra? Looked like a Contra to me. Zombie Nation, Wagan Land. Family Stadium again. Okay, we're gonna just go through these. Make sure I don't miss anything. Amazing. Breaststroke. Bug Catcher. Chess, of course. Chinese Chess. Crazy Coons in Cl- Raccoons. What the fuck? What in the name of all that is good and holy, in the name of Christ, was that name? And what does that have to do with what I'm playing right now? Time up again? Really? This is just the Alice Cooper game from before, but it's reskinned with clouds. Whoa. Whoa, I just found a secret. <laughs> I found an accidental secret. Good. Good quality Mario hack. My other favorite part is that they start you with 70 seconds when you first start the world. That's really, really, really impressive. Oh, 
Okay. I guess the, just the level doesn't... And why isn't that in Mario? There's a whole Mario section, and yet they put other Marios on the lists. And there was not a single crazy raccoon in that entire game. Like, I'm, I'm seriously afraid and confused, because again, this is like, you know, family-friendly NES games. You got Mario, you got some animal stuff, animal contests, arachnoid. You got all this stuff, and then you have, like, nude Marios. see anything else here worth our time, to be honest. I already did Link. Yeah, Rescue Cuck. Rescue Cuck is here. Um... Chuda D. Alright, we'll check out Chew to D. Oh, let's let's do this one and then Chew to D. We'll end with Chew to D. Oh, that's another one of these like early arcade esque games. Just in case you didn't know, we have lots of intro music. You're gonna hear all of it. Good game. Just a Popeye ripoff. All right. Again, I apologize if you hear any, like, you know, weird noises. I'm, uh... I'm popping cough drops like crazy, like they're going out of style. All right, so this is 1995. This is... Man, NES does such good faces. Man, you couldn't get more anticlimactic than that. Alright, chat. Give me one more suggestion. Give me one more suggestion. Final one. It's gonna be a good one. 112, someone says in chat. Todus Contra to chair. Nerdcore. This looks like Nathaniel. Nathaniel Smash. Nathaniel Me. Is that in any way what I think that's gonna be? Like, is that. That's not an anime girl in ecstasy, is it? No, right? Nice advertisement for root beer. Root beer brand root beer. So lifelike it'll actually smack you. It's like Proto Rayman. Oh, that's kind of cool. This game actually has some physics.
All right. Okay. Okay. Now, we're not done yet. That was the cool baby. Once again, here's some images of it. You know, it might be one of the better plug and plays I've played. Which is not good for what I do here on the stream. So, that's quite unfortunate. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Listen, I have to put batteries in this other plug and play. So this is a plug and play bonus. This next one, I couldn't find too many pictures of. Um, so here's the ones I could find. It looks like this. I don't expect anything amazing, but I, I want to play uh, a little song while I get some batteries. Okay, this is this is a song that you might know. Be right back. Behold centuries of thrust. Nothing stop him, nothing about long by pondered life's mysteries. The reason my thrust establishes generations of children. Procreation, masturbation, sensation. Woohoo! Why you behold in my dick? Bust and rhymes, going crimes forever. That's no way to live prehistorically. Time keeps turning, mimes keep yearning for freedom. Eternally screaming in desperate futility. First quenching, first clenching, gripping my point four five. Click, clack, break yourself, piece of that Kit Kat bars. Motherfucker, money, money, ain't that dumb? Money, money, get you money, please help me get money. Honey, bye. thenceforth hereby, I require copious money to pay taxes. Fraud prevention, fraud intention, extension. Woohoo, time freezes when I sneezes. A chew where the road lapses. Turn around now. I forgot my pen is huge, can't fit in my breast pocket. Nefat me, me. Dinosaur brain small. Nefat me, smash pen. Breast pocket, Nefat me, storage, sell me forage for shiny point for five. B -b 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 Bust. If you thrust, trust you got. Trust you got. This is the song written by uh, Kraken, myself, and Jerma. Created by a man of many hats. Thank you for that. <sighs> Behold centuries of thrust. All right, great. Let's hope. Oh, it works. It works. Okay, here we go. Plug and plague bonus. I'm setting it up. Almost ready. This is going to be even more disappointing. So I do accept plug and plagues if you want to email me if you have anything particularly interesting. Like I need from this point forward though, the plug and plague segment unfortunately is getting a little old. And we're playing the same shit over and over again. I've played so many of the good ones. But if you have anything that you think is absolutely incredible, let me know. Only the best from here on out. Handy boy? Excuse me? Alright, first of all, does anyone else get a weird connotation when you hear the name Handy Boy? Second, the name of this console is TV Play Power Controller. But then when you look on the controller, it says Technosource. There's nothing about Handy Boy anywhere. So the controller is fucking massive, and, uh... Big racing? Jump car? Hang on a minute, there's a list of games on the back, I wanna see if these are them. Um... Balloon Boy 2, Space Castle... Ultra Doggy... Okay, so there's- there's a couple games on- there's not a whole lot on here. Um, and they look like shitty... NES clones. So, oh god, yep, more colors. Really outputting those... those colors. There's a... there's a thumbstick on this controller. And it's just, like, NES clones. I 
I think my phone just tried to do facial recognition from this game. Like, the colors are so bright that it detected, like, movement. <laughs> it's awful. It does have a reset button on the controller, though, so that's good. So that was shitty RC Pro M. This is this is jump car. Except that wasn't a car at all, that's a boat. Jump car, you say? Hmm. Yep. Jump car! Well the jump part is right. And I've played like five or six different versions of this with different skins. I've played this exact one. Don't believe it was called Jump Car at the time, though. Uh, it's just expanding. It wasn't jumping so much as it was expanding. Uh, Racing Pioneer. Um, okay. It's a 2001... Is it Deep Space Nine? What did I tell you? More of the same. This time you can't jump, though. In space, no one can hear you thrust. Oh boy. God. Yeah, Plug and Plague is going away for a little while. Oh, it's just- it's just the same game. It's the same game, but it's on a fucking bike, and not in space, and you can't jump. What fucking charlatans. Absolute charlatans. Same noises, same gameplay. Motorcycle the size of fucking buildings. <laughs> skill level one, skill level fingernail, or skill level bird. Take your pick. Some more of the same noises. Space vehicle. Make no mistake, it may look 3D. But this is the exact same game. It's good to know these games were being made as recently as 2001. Isn't it? Oh, I was about to harmonize. God damn it. Look at the handy boy. Handy boy's thinking about some ultra doggy. He's gonna get real handy with it. It's just Frogger. So, this is a racing game, huh? I thought that thing on the top there was a toilet, but it's just a 5 over a 1. I was about to say, oh, a toilet! That's appropriate. This thing right here. The thing the dog is looking at. Oh, I gotta get the key. So yes, this dog is faster than trucks.
faster than trucks, as big as trucks, as, you know, just think about it. Think about what this would look like if you're driving on the highway and there's a dog as big as the car, as your car. But, you know, he's ultra doggy. Behold. Centuries of ultra doggy. Omega Zone. <laughs> that is so shitty looking. It's like someone took a squid graphic from another game and just drew a fucking face over it. Again, we're just stealing assets from Galaga. Man. I've never felt less. Balloon Boy 2. Let's see if this is another original video game. Do not steal. It's Balloon Fight. With some modified backgrounds. This is a collection of great racing games. Only the greatest racing games. Handy Boy is like, I made this game. Space Castle, come on Space Castle, turn this all around. You got a cool alien fella in like a plane. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. This is It's shitty defender with Maple Story houses. Wait, this is the Zelda dungeon music. What the fuck? Not Defender, I didn't mean Defender. You know what I'm talking about. Space Invaders, sorry. But this is the Zelda dungeon music. Sync them up. Yeah, it's just fa it's faster. I can't sync them up. Everything this plug and play touches, it makes worse. They're jewels. They're jewels. Good video game? Do you like good video game? Cause man, I have the goodest of video game. I made this video game. This my video game for game console. You didn't make video game, I did.
block shock cock block shock jock block shock All right, well, it turns out you can just take arachnoid and you can just add scrambled eggs or like um, sunny side up eggs and, and you have an original game. Just make the block eggs. Call it arachnoid. It's like you're really annoyed at a spider. <sighs> I don't know what else to say. That's it. That's the whole thing. This piece of plastic really probably caught, like the, the the amount of plastic wasted by them manufacturing this device is actually kind of making me a little sick to my stomach thinking about how much like how much raw material was wasted for just a couple shitty NES clone games and I, I'm and bad music. Uh, four double A batteries required, by the way. It's four double A's. And let's see what year was this. One bonus game, Ultra Doggy, the adventures of a cool doggy. He needs to cross the busy streets and go through with some. Go through some railways and other obstacles while avoiding a crash. So each of these games on the back of the box. has a long, like, lore and description. The story happens in the world's biggest candy shop, Sweets and Candies. One day, all the candies were enchanted by the witch. The only way to help the base, the boss out, was to destroy all the crazy candies. Fulfill the mission by controlling the panel to catch the falling ball after it crashes with different candies and sweets. That was Block Shock. So, big, deep, you know, lots of lore. Jump car, an exciting motorboat war upon blue water course. They may bump into each other. That doesn't explain why it's called car and it's a boat. <sighs> Omega zone. Beneath the deep silent sea, from one fixed horizontal po position, strings of bubbles are continuously generated from one bubble generator to attack octopus. Two players play by turn. 2002 Techno Source. Oh, I just dropped it and the D-pad came off. I didn't even drop it with that much like pressure or force. It just... Wow. You hear that? That's the sound of a D-pad that has come off the controller. Well made. If you or any of your loved ones have a plug-in plague that is actually really terrible in the most entertaining way possible, please get in touch. Until then, this segment has been retired. Hopefully we'll get something. Hopefully we'll get something decent in the future, but until then, plug-in plague will, will be uh, on hiatus. We're going to take a quick break and then we'll return with not don't worry about this. This is nothing. Don't worry about that. Um, we'll return with Shovelware Showcase PS2 edition focusing on one developer that released like seven licensed games or more in one year. 
It's astounding. Stick around. Be right back. <laughs> 